This meeting is being recorded per Governor Lamont's Executive Order 7B. Um, welcome, everybody. Got everybody we need. Welcome to the February 9th, 2021 meeting of the Weathersfield Historic District Commission. For those of you who have not been here before, tonight's session is composed of two parts, a public hearing and a public meeting. In the public hearing, we ask each applicant in turn to come forward and explain their application in detail. This will give us an opportunity to clarify what you're proposing to do and for you to ask us any questions. Also, commissioners may voice an opinion or suggestion based on their own feelings. However, a vote is not taken until the public meeting following the public hearing. In the public meeting, which is not open to public comment, we will deliberate your application and decide how to act on it. We may approve it, approve it with stipulations, table it for further consideration, or in rare cases, we may deny it. You are welcome to stay for the public meeting, but need not do so. The results of tonight's meeting will be available from the Weathersfield Building Office tomorrow at 860-721-2839, anytime after 9 a.m. Please be advised that the Historic District Commission approval does not preclude the need for any other permits such as zoning, inland and wetlands, or, or building. Please contact the building department to review any other permits that may be required before you begin your project. With this, I'll ask our clerk, Commissioner Lyons, to read the legal notice. Thank you. Legal notice, Town of Weathersfield Historic District Commission. The Weathersfield Historic District Commission will hold a virtual public hearing on Tuesday, February 9th, 2021, at 7.30 p.m. on the following application seeking a certificate of appropriateness. Application 6000-21, Megan Thomas Seski, seeking to replace 23 windows in home with renewal by Anderson double hung and picture replacement windows at 10 Fernwood Street. Application 6001-21, Chris and Sharon Richwine, seeking to replace 12 basement windows with Everlast sl sliding basement windows at 50 Center Street. If you wish to review this application on file, you may request a copy by contacting HDC comments at weathersfieldct.gov or by calling 860-721-2836. Live participation is available by audio format. Any resident residents interested in speaking on an application or wishing to listen to the meeting should email HDC comments at weathersfieldct.gov or call 860-721-2836 by 6 p.m. on the night of the meeting to be sent a phone number for audio access. Please include your name, phone number, and address in the email. Town of Weathersfield Historic District Commission, Kim Wolf, duly authorized, dated Weathersfield, Connecticut, this 25th day of January, 2021. Thank you, Chris. Tonight we're one. missing two of all, our full members and so, um, both Kathy and Vasek can vote tonight. Moving right ahead, application 6021, uh, the application for 10 Fernwood Road. It looks like we have the contractor, if you could identify yourself, name and business address for the records. Good evening, everyone. Jim McMenemy, Renewal by Anderson, 800 Corporate Row, Cromwell, Connecticut. I'm a senior project consultant with Renewal by Anderson. Some, um, approval for 10 Fernwood Street, Weathersfield with Megan Tomaszewski, 23 windows in total, replacement windows. 21 are double hung insert replacements, two are picture window insert replacements. Uh, looking to replace like for like, um, double hungs to have full divided light grills just on the top sash to match existing required, as well as the invisible half screens on the lower sash. Um, picture windows are on the reverse, the rear of the house, um, both to match the existing of five over four configuration with full divided light. Are there any windows that are not being replaced as part of the project? They have a side porch um, looking at the front of the house, if you look to the left hand side, there's a like a sunroom. Uh, those were already replaced um, before this uh, homeowner purchased this home. I'm not sure what year. Okay. 
And for the record there, uh, the divided light with the fixtures on both the inside and out and then a spacer in between? Correct. anyone have any additional questions? So I, I'm just kind of curious. I'm looking at uh, the first page that was submitted uh, with the hand-drawn picture of the uh, picture window and above it are two images of a, of a window. One is a six over one and the other one is a uh, nine over nine. Um, so it says the the window is gonna and hardware is gonna be like the one on the white. Is that correct or which particular window are you looking at, sir? Well, I'm I'm just looking at the uh, at what was submitted. Okay. There is... So so the double hungs that you see on the front of the house that are six over one, uh, yeah. that'll be the we're gonna match it to that existing uh, appearance. Okay. Yeah, so I, I assume that you don't have the same package that we do, but you must have been the one that was submitting the application. And there's this whole long contract uh, by renewal from Anderson. However, above that, I have a page where it has a white window on a sort of pinkish background. Was that something you submitted? So Vasek, yeah. if I can interrupt you for one Please. second, it's Kim. Um, the homeowner and the contract, the uh, renewal by Anderson uh -huh. both submitted um, application top sheets. So there is one or two pages that the homeowner submitted. So if you're looking at your package, Vasek. Yes, I am. The, the pink background yep. was submitted by the homeowner Okay. And then when I spoke with the um, with the company, they said, "Hang on to that and wait for the other information." So, okay. we kind of put everything on hold. So the pink page was from the homeowner. Okay, that sort of that helps. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions for the homeowner? None. Hearing none. Uh, do we have any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against this application? Hearing none. Thank you very much, sir, for coming in. We'll move on to application 6,121, the application for 50 Center Street. Hello, uh, we're Sharon and Chris Richwine, and we have, um, we want to replace all 12 of our basement windows. We get a lot of they are either at grade level or a little bit above and we get water in it. And there's, you can see daylight around the casings and a lot of the screens are ripped and they like, they, they're damaged. So we get water and animals coming in. <laughs> so we wanna replace them with uh, Everlast basement windows uh, from Connecticut Basement Systems. I think we have most of the material that we need um, in our packages. Does anyone have any questions for the applicants? I just have a quick one. Sure. Uh, is the basement a conditioned space? Uh, no. Here? Okay. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Anything else? So, I uh, have. Yeah, here. Uh, my, my only, I don't have particularly a historic district uh, concern, but I do have a concern from something that you've said is that you've got water coming in. Mm -hmm. If these windows are grade level, how is how are new windows going to stop that? I, I realize the present ones are probably rotted at this point and other things, but it's not going to solve 100% of the problem. Yes, you're correct. And we discussed that with our basement representative guy. And um, we and thought we'd start- we'll fix everything. Exactly. Oh yeah, we understand <laughs> that. It was, but we, 
the fact that the animals are coming in and that you can yeah. see daylight, I was like, I want new windows no matter what. And then we talked about window wells. We, we looked into all that, but we thought we'd start, we'd do the first 10 grand and then move on from there. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> so that's why uh, you're correct. You're totally correct. And they're, they're, they have a whole nother proposal for us after this, this call this phase one. <laughs> But I wanted new windows, so. <laughs> okay. All right. That uh, prompts another question then, which okay. I, I can't say for sure. Uh, the materials may actually call this out, but is this an insulated window? Because. Um, not sure. <laughs> because uh, if it's not, uh, is part of the, phase two uh making it condition space down there or just mm. taking care of the water more no it's just okay. the water this all started with the water and okay. it's it's never going to be a yeah, no plans for that yeah it's <laughs> okay. not a living space yeah no living space there yeah understand doug <laughs> doug yes if you, take a, if you take a look under uh page 31 of our package Yes. It does say the windows are double thermopane glass. Oh, thank, ah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. Thank you. Sharon, thank you for the sample. Oh, sure. Yeah, it was kind of cute little window. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that. It's really helpful when people um, do that. And we know it's extra effort. So we do appreciate it. Thank Anyone you. else have any questions? Yes, quick question. Is it wind-driven water primarily or you have standing surface water? Is it a grade problem or what's your? No, it's just when it's a big windy day. Like it doesn't happen on just a normal rainy day. It has to be really, and when we say standing, it's just a puddle. Like it's not the whole floor. I mean, is it snow melt? It's, it's a little no, bit of no, everything? It's not, no, it's not even rain. snow melt. It has it's to heavy be rain. driven. Yeah. So it's, yeah, but I'm just, I don't, I don't want it. So. Yeah, no, I'm just curious <laughs> where the water. No yeah. problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Anyone else? Thanks. Hearing no other questions, anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, we'll move on to our final 6,000-21, the uh, project at 121 Broad Street. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. Frequent back. Miles, if you could identify yourself for the record. Hi, Sheila Elliott, um, well, 21, 121 Broad Street in, in Wethersfield, yeah. And tell us about today's project. Yes, yes. Uh, well, when we did our application, you know, it was pretty, um, there was a lot going on there. And of course, as things come and, and we had put in that we were having the front doors would be nine light with the panel below it, you know, so it wouldn't be a full, like what you might call a, a French door. And we just, realize we'd like to probably have some more light coming through and match the doors that are inside. So we were seeing if you'd allow us to have 15 light doors at the mudroom and um, onto the, uh, um, off of the front porch. Uh, we are using those 15 light doors in the back um, of the house. So that's and the front door, you're keeping the front door. The front door will be, um, yeah, okay. solid. Anyone have any questions? I just uh, have a quick one, uh, Sheila. Uh -huh. Did mm -hmm. you consider uh, 12 light with a panel across the bottom by any chance? Um, no, I never did. Yeah. Because we were Only... going from nine, because in the house we were using the 15. So like even in that mud room there, our plan is to have a door that closes off at that side entrance. And that was going to be a 15. Um, so. I was trying to keep them the same. Um, Understand. I, I guess part of the, the reason for my question is that um, a 12 often really does tend to look more like a 15 than it does a nine. A uh -huh. nine is kind of like a farmhouse looking door, whereas the, um, the 12 is more of a, um, it's because there's still a horizontal panel across the bottom usually mm -hmm. it kind of cheats the difference it gives you the mm -hmm. um the uh, visibility of uh, a french door 
with a little bit more um, uh, privacy or finish to it. Uh, and mm -hmm. since those were two front doors on uh, either side of the building, uh, I'm not sure uh, how you feel about it, but um, it's just something I think is worth considering before you, um, mm -hmm. you know, make a final decision about, uh, about uh, whether or not you essentially want that kick plate mm -hmm. uh, or if you want it to be more like a breezeway, completely open look to match the other doors. And if that's where you are, um, you know, that's, uh, I'm not trying to talk you out of it. Yeah. It's just no, that, that is... uh, I, it was just a thought that came to mind. Uh, we, when we moved into our house, there happened to be a uh, 12 light door in place. So we ended up matching that 12 light door with another one uh, in another location. And frankly, if I hadn't seen it there, I might not have considered it myself. Uh, mm -hmm. I might've gone to the full 15 uh, like mm -hmm. you are. So there you go. It's All right, you know, that that is interesting if it's something that maybe you guys, if you were gonna say okay to the 15, but then say, or if you consider the 12, I, I would maybe look at that. What's interesting is the door that was previously at uh, the mudroom side was a um, just a storm door. It was a you know a full open one, just a storm door. There wasn't even a door there because it was an unheated um, area there. So, um, but yeah, if that's something, if that true, wait, Thermatru even does that, I would, I, I'm not sure if they do, I would guess that they would do that. But if you're gonna say no to the 15 and then that's an option, or if you'd say yes to both, it would be something that, yeah, I would consider, yep. Well, I'm not trying to second guess mm -hmm. as much as yeah. just uh, since you're making a change to just ask if you had thought of that one as well. And yeah. um, it, sure. if, uh, we'll see what happens uh, in sure. the public meeting, but mm -hmm. um, the drawing looks very nice. Thank you, Doug. Good you bet. Suggestion. Thank you. Anyone else have any comments? Hearing none, any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, I'll take a motion to close the public hearing and open the public meeting. So moved. Mm -hmm. I'll second Vasek. Thank okay. you. Either way. <laughs> Returning to uh, the project at 10 Fernwood application 6021. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. We've seen these windows um, quite a bit. I think that the house is already wrapped and that they're, um, they're gonna have minimal impact on the district and will be a fine improvement on the house. Anybody? I'd like to make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second that. Any additional comments? Everybody knows how I feel about replacement windows. Thanks, Vasek. <laughs> I understand. Anyone else? No? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. Uh, the motion carries. Application. 6001-2150 Center Street. May I have a motion? I'll make move a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I'll just move to approve as submitted. I'll second Doug. Um, roll today. I, um, accessory uh, basement windows, um, when they're proposed in this particular manner, I think are worth uh, the change. Uh, normally, I do like the three light uh, classic um, true divided light basement window. Um, but if you're if you want to ventilate, um, you the you know the slider has a certain convenience aspect to it. Um, I just want to indicate to the owner that I don't know how they are right now, but you can swing a wooden window all the way open and get twice the amount of air that you'll be able to with the sliding. Um, so that's part of why I was asking about conditioned space because uh, if it's not going to be conditioned and 
you want to be able to open all the windows at once for some reason, uh, it's actually easier to do that with uh, an old fashioned wood window that you might hold up with a hook and eye. Um, so it's something that you might wanna consider if uh, you decide to go down a different path. Um, but as far as this window goes as a uh, replacement, I uh, uh, could live with it if that's the homeowner's choice. I second them because as Doug mentioned, there are basement windows. I think these are similar to ones we approved on Garden Street, similar home, large foundations, quite a few, lots, a lot of basement windows. So I think, think your circulation will be pretty good. The should just also, there. I'm sorry, should just also add the house is set slightly back compared to some others. Um, the same window in a different location might uh, cause more concern, uh, but given the age of the house and the position of these windows, um, I think that uh, they will have a minimal impact on the district. Agreed. Anything further? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none. Motion carries. Application 6002 121 Broad Street. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion to prove either a 12 light or 15 light uh, door as submitted. I'll second. Yeah, I think Doug brought up some good points. Um, the one on, that's going to be covered, the one where it was closer to the uh, Garden Street, the breezeway is a prominent spot. But if they decide even to put a storm there too, it, it's going to be heated space. You're not going to really see it. Maybe there's a panel there, a few view, full view. But again, I, I would leave it up to the applicant uh, for 12 or 15. Doug had a good point. I agree. Thank you. Either is appropriate and um, given giving them the option of either without having to come back is a good solution. The only other thing I was going to add is that um, the rail house on the green has uh, a full glass front on their um, breezeway. So it's not without uh, a predicate that you have a traditional main house and a garage uh, with a um, full French front. Uh, so that's why I think that if they decided to go with 15, it would work. Um, I'll just uh, be happy to uh, get a photograph over of uh, uh, what we have in case the homeowner has any interest in that. Um, you know, it may be that the better choice is the one that she presented, but um, happy to share it as a neighbor. Thank you. Perfect, sounds good. So my, my take on it is that a, any door with a small panel at the bottom will tend to read more as a traditional storm door, which would be the expected view of from the street. Uh, the 15 light is a contemporary door. Uh, Just a bit more, yes. Yeah. So I think, you know, if we are looking to do a traditional house here, as we did with the garage doors that we urged the applicant to go with, uh, certainly a, a paneled, a, a door with a small panel at the bottom will read much more traditional. I think that's true, Basak, I agree. Thank you, any other comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Moving on to the approval of the minutes from January 26, 2021. Make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second Leave it. Leave the floor with, to Doug. Thank, you, thank you. I'll second it with our uh, thanks to our reporter, Linda, uh, and at this time also to our historic district coordinator, Kim, uh, for all the efforts uh, that they make uh, to uh, facilitate our efforts on uh, behalf of the townspeople. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, other business, public comments on general matters? None, but can I go back to 6002, please? Um, yes. 
Are you calling that approved as submitted? Or are you calling that approved with a stipulation of the 15 or 12? With the stipulation that it can be either 15 or 12 late at the homeowner's discretion. Thank you. I don't have anything else. Okay. Um, any correspondence? None. Yes. And in record time, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Thank you. Aye. Thank you. Thank you all commissioners and yep. uh, citizens. Good night. Thank Good night. you. Thank you. Thank you.